Hi guys, friend of the show and political commentator Marina Perkis went into the lion's den on Tuesday evening to take on Jacob Rees-Mogg. Marina was on fire when she faced the right honourable gentleman from the 19th century. Now the topic of discussion was the culture wars and Marina started out with the fact that it is a tool being used by the Tories because they have nothing else. They are a failure on the economy, on crime, on education, on the NHS, on infrastructure and their pet project Brexit. The culture war is all they have remaining. Have a listen to Marina put Mog back into his box. But I'm now joined by the political commentator Marina Perkis, who as I understand it, Marina, you don't think the culture wars really exist? Do you think they're essentially a, a right wing? Oh no, I, um, think, I think they exist because people like you and your party in government, they desperately need them to exist because what else are you going to win the next election on? So um, they're not coming from people who want to pull roads down or want to edit Raoul Dahl. Isn't mm. there a battle of ideas that is going on that sometimes get expressed in extreme form? So what I think has happened is it's a distraction technique. So don't get me wrong, I think any calls to rewrite Raoul Dahl, for example, or to rename a, a street. By the way, the street renaming, if we go into that, it was called Black Boy Lane. You know, that was why they renamed the street. I think that's fair enough. If you had a street named, you know, White Trash, you might want to rename it. But I think what's happening here is you're drawing attention to these things that actually don't impact people's lives. And the reason you're doing that is because otherwise people might just focus on the real grievances in their life, which are basically caused by your government. But doesn't no platforming actually affect people's lives? Because freedom of speech is absolutely essential for the no. political discussion that we're going Jacob, to have. Jacob, do you know what really impacts people's lives? And I really would just ask your viewers just to, you probably dislike me if you know who I am, but just ask you, your viewers to think about what really impacts their life. Is it Roald Dahl being rewritten, which by the way, I don't think it should be. Is it the renaming of a street? Is it, I don't know, some woke policy? Is that really what's harming people? Or is it the concern that they are going to be waiting for an ambulance and dying? Is it the concern but, that their children are getting a poor education? Is it the concern that we've got the highest energy bill but isn't this in why, the, on the planet? But isn't this why you should stand up for freedom of speech? Because no. if you attack freedom excuse, of speech in some areas, Jacob. you're then putting the government in control Jacob, of Mr. the agenda. Oh God, F freedom of speech. This is nothing to do with freedom of speech. This is, as Marina has pointed out, a distraction. This is about distracting the public from real issues. People are concerned about the cost of living crisis, about the NHS, about having to wait hours for an ambulance. They don't care about the naming of a street or whether R Roald Dahl's book is going to be rewritten. Incidentally, even if it is rewritten, you still have access to the original copies, the original text. This is just distraction. It's all about distraction. Even 30p Lee Anderson said, we can't run on Boris and Brexit. We have to run on something else. And of course, he didn't explicitly say it, but he said, we can't run on the economy, the NHS, cost of living or anything like that. We have to run on the culture wars. We have to run on woke because we have nothing else. That's what it's about. This is why... For, for, this is why Farage and, and Johnson and Jacob Rees-Mogg and others focus on these issues that don't affect ordinary people. They, because they can't focus on the NHS, they can't focus on the, on the economy, on infrastructure, on cost of living, on transport, things like this. Because as soon as they focus on that, people say, well, it's not working. I've said before, elections are referendums on the incumbent. So people, when they go to the voting booth, they'll, they'll ask themselves, am I happy with the current government? And they'll say no. But in order to get around this problem, the Tories have to find a scapegoat. Oh, it's the immigrants' fault, or it's the woke culture warriors' fault, or it's somebody else's fault. It's never our fault. So if things are going badly, it's not because of the government, it's because of the EU, or because of Remainers, or because of um, the left or the blob or the media or something else. It's always somebody else's fault. It's about directing blame to someone else so that you can say, well, you should vote for us because it's not our fault. That's the the problem here. And, in, and unfortunately, the likes of outlets like uh, Gammon Brexit News or Talk TV, is, their focus is primarily on these distractions. 
When was the last time you heard GB News talk about the cost of living crisis? The fact that people aren't able to pay their bills or going to food banks or um, not uh, being kicked out of their home because they can't afford the rent or their mortgage uh, or f kicked out of their home because they can't afford their mortgage. When was the last time GB News or any of these pro-Tory, pro-Brexit outlets actually focused on those issues? I think you're going to struggle to find those videos. So instead, they focus on things that actually help the Tories. Distractions. Make people angry so that they come out and vote for the Conservatives who are saying, we're the ones who will fix these problems. Well done to Marina for calling this out. The interview went on for another few minutes and they talked about Brexit. Um, but this was the main issue here. And I think this has to be the focus on what the Tories are doing. They're distracting to try and convince people to be angry so that they'll come out and vote. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.